Hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to Helion's Hub with me, Helion, along with... Uh, along with someone who's... Here. <laughs> Next to <laughs> along with... <laughs> I just got back! <laughs> <laughs> uh, pardon. <laughs> Still got this freaking cough. Uh, I've... Oh, the game got a bit loud there. Yeah, I still can't shake this cough, even with all of the coughing syrup and whatever. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, welcome everyone to, well, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Uh, they dropped the secret of part here because it's already, well, it's already like five words like this. Well, six, seven, if you count the <coughs> special edition as well. You didn't tell me we were to stream this play. Oh, give me a sec. Apparently the game is being too loud. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, game sound. Let's drop that. Another five decibels. That better? Uh, better Test, I said... oh, well done. One, oh. two, three. Three, four, five. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've, I've done a little change to my... Okay, bit better, okay. A bit better is still better than a lot worse. <coughs> I'll drop it uh, just a bit more. It could just be because the, it's being loud at the intro here. So... There, that better? Yep, well, <coughs> probably. <coughs> anyway, so... I'm... I have never played this game before, the original or this version. So yeah, we're all going into this uh, blind. Dude here. Well, 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 Guy Brush Streetwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How'd she get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well. It all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Okay. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Okay, and also, what I was trying to say earlier is, you did not tell me where to stream this game today. Okay, they used the old model of him <laughs> as a loading screen, okay. <laughs> Ace. Mm. Um, oh, wait. Is it due to the cough we did not uh, make uh, a catch-up stream with uh, Dishonored? Uh, yeah, and well, with what happens then, I thought it would be in uh, bad taste to, well, start a stream there. If other people, of course, streamed, uh, did do their streams, but 
personally, I just want to make a statement, sort of like a, how I'm making a statement with a little change that I made to my avatar that I haven't told Rakir of yet. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I found uh, V-Roid's face paint area. So basically I painted the Ukrainian flag over my face. <laughs> oh, gods. Yeah, it, it won't stick, but just for now, uh, probably tomorrow as well, and however long the bullshit goes on. <sighs> I hope it won't not too long if rumors are true. Yeah. But then again, rumors are rumors, and only once everything is over will be finally know what went down and where and such. Mm. No, for that, <laughs> less Pardon? politics and more fun. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I have, I have absolutely no idea of what the story of this game is, only some something infamous about it. But beyond that, I know nothing. Yeah, let's see. No treads are hunting zone. What now? Oh, what? <laughs> thanks for the <coughs> thanks for the follow. Go your hack split. <coughs> uh, let's see. Oh, they it... changed up the yes. They changed it up now that you can select things on an item instead of having to try Welcome each and every thing. No treads are hunting zone. That's kind of good. And also, I was I seen the intro before. You think you're going fancy uh -oh. pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Uh, go on. Uh, what to say? I, I think I've seen only the intro of this thing before, up till here. So back then when I tried to watch it, yeah, the video refused to work. It was probably before I got the YouTube up on my PlayStation, so I just used the browser place instead, which meant every time I was on slight connection issue at the start of the video over and over from the beginning. <laughs> so All I right. probably just gave up. Yeah, <laughs> this will make it double fun for the both of us since we'll, we'll be experiencing this for the first time. And also, uh, I'm guessing the guy from Up uh, had a bit of a wrong turn in life. <laughs> because he looks like that guy, I've completely forgotten his name. <laughs> I know. This was released way before up. Yeah. Uh, also, something that uh, I apparently, com well, both of us completely missed during the uh, previous Monkey Island. Uh, nope. The troll guarding the bridge, where, which was wearing a suit, apparently that was supposed to be George Lucas. So yeah, he was being a troll by playing a troll in his own game. <laughs> Was truly even a turn back then? Uh, not, not in the modern way, at least. Let's see. <laughs> I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. <laughs> Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on needs roughing up on this island. Oh. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Hey. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. <laughs> <laughs> Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Hmm. Well, I think it just completely emptied out our inventory. Of... Yep, I pre I'm pretty sure we were had a lot of stuff here before, but now we have nothing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hex in chat. Troll face was first drawn in 2008. Uh, very important information, I know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What is, oh, hello there. Wood Smith. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think we want to push her. <laughs> nor use her. <laughs> yeah. Or... 
<laughs> well okay. done, Hillian. Well done. <clears throat> okay. Water and coughing doesn't go long. Uh. What's the problem with that Largo guy? <clears throat> he really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? <coughs> a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <coughs> that must have taken a lot of lines. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, just a transition. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> the bloody lip bar and grill. Okay. <laughs> Let's go take a. <clears throat> Don't know why, but the cough is really acting up now like for most of the day it's been gone except for in the morning after waking up and now for some reason it's acting up again even after yeah, i Hilan, downed coughing syrup Hilan, here's a warning some of those coughs can last for over a month or in my case actually two months hmm. yeah <clears throat> that's a show that it doesn't get too much what is he using to clean those glasses uh, his own clothes, I'm guessing. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, boy. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is, make anything you could name, but I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. <laughs> What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo and... the Grand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Uh. <laughs> Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to deal with this jackass. <laughs> yeah, he, that guy is horrible. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. This and is also, going to hurt. Be right back. Just going to check on something. I should have practiced. Yeah, at the very least, he's uh, smart enough to not use it. Hey, hired help only. Okay, not going in there then. Uh, also, something with the uh, program I'm using for this avatar. Uh, apparently, emotion uh, uh, expression detection was turned off by default, so I turned that on, you know, on now. So, yeah, this should make this thing a bit more expressive. Hello, Hello there as well. Let's see. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing <laughs> without it. Yeah, we're so going to have to steal that thing, don't we? Nice monocle. Yeah, Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? What the heck? I can't go to the kitchen without you planning to rob someone. Yep. Oh, for kind of out. And for people who want to went to the kitchen to get homemade hamburger. Or, okay. Or, or I, 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 it's an Angus burger from the store. 
Only who made the body is I using fiber bread instead of bread uh, burger buns. Excuse okay. me, do you know anything about the big whoop? <laughs> uh oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. <laughs> Send by the IRS, let's see your files. <laughs> Nobody sent me, I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Yep, thanks for telling. <laughs> Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know its location is a mystery. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Oh, hello. It what no? <laughs> no. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Why do I get the feeling it's going to be Monkey Island? <laughs> well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Uh, action chat. Oh no, the final <laughs> enemy of real life, the IRS. <laughs> Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, <laughs> it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Okay. Wally uh, B. Oh, go ahead. Wally B. Is this me the name Bird? Mm. Not sure. <laughs> also, a fun fact about Guybrush and why he's called Guybrush is because, uh, well, they. They were, uh, they hadn't settled on a name yet, so instead they just uh, named the, the file for his, uh, <coughs> for his character, uh, Guy, and left it as a placeholder until they found something better. Only the, uh, <coughs> <coughs> the uh, file type that the the anime that the profile was or the. Something, whatever the file. The file was a specific uh, file type, uh, namely dot brush, aka guy dot brush. <laughs> then they made it into guy brush. This last name, then. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Yeah, more moving away as far as possible. Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With a sailing embargo Lago's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. <laughs> is, uh, just how much... Uh, uh, is it just one guy that is just terrorizing the whole island? Or does he actually have accomplices or something? <laughs> no idea, but it seems like... You know, I think I remember this, but again, and I know I never finished watching it due to some technical issue. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood, shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. So it is just one jackass. Yeah, he is very self-destructive. Like. Does he understand that it'd be impossible for anyone to pay him <laughs> if he if he just throws them all dry? Yeah, he doesn't care. He can just move on to the next island. Where 
where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly do you do here? <laughs> I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Guy brush. What the heck? What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. I can't Actually, doubt I that. Just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> cartographer joke. Oh uh, yeah, Magellan, what? who wasted months at sea going from discovered country to, to discovered country. <laughs> yeah, and um, well, the reason I'm doubting Mr. Feed here is. If I understand what what era this is in, they probably not just discovered the uh, the older half of America yet. Yeah, assuming this even takes place on an equivalent of Earth. Uh, they are in Car Caribbean. Oh, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so you know. cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Okay, guy's a bit of a jerk, but... Yeah. Oop. Drink. Hey, Good luck. Where's my monocle? <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to need that somewhere. <clears throat> oh yeah, didn't you, don't aren't you qualified to use one in your real life? Uh, what? Uh, aren't you qualified to use a monocle in your real life? Due to you only have one bad eye. Uh, technically, <laughs> but it'd, it'd be an absolute pain to keep that in my uh, on the eye. Uh, let's see, rats, of course. What is with these no, signs? Don't clean leather. Okay. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Um, I'm pretty sure laundry is all supposed to be about getting rid of the stains. And hello there, box. Nice. Can we open the box? It won't fit in my pocket. Is there nothing? Oh. Okay, I see what... I'm guessing we need to trap this rat in here or something. But... Uh, hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, That's you soft. probably need the uh, cheese. He looks nice enough. What do you know about Largo <laughs> LeGrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. Oh, this type. Clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because <laughs> I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. <laughs> I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay, oh, these guys again, or are they different ones? The same ones. <laughs> They're sleeping peacefully. Uh, excuse me? Hmm, they, yeah, they... What is it? <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, this is them. Do we know you? 
I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. <laughs> Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Okay, so they got driven off by the mafia. The pirate mafia. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. Uh, we wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw <laughs> deal on the boat. It seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. <laughs> By the time we noticed, we were taking on water fast. Wait, how did you not notice? On a tiny desert island. <laughs> Is it Stan? <laughs> Probably, yeah. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. <laughs> that you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. By doing nothing? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. <laughs> that went better. <laughs> is that your rap? Oh, <laughs> yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Also, from the sounds of it, it sounds like they were just <laughs> eating on stage and he probably just fell off. <laughs> How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh. Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um... But... All right, you got us. <laughs> we're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh... Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. It doesn't work like that. You'll kill whales. <laughs> Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. Uh. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Uh. <laughs> oh, these oh, stairs oh. are good. Okay, there's a bucket there. Um, let's see. We have the monocle. We have a single piece of eight. What's over here? Let's see. Just gonna have this in the background while playing Fallout. Okay. It's just uh, <coughs> just being around uh, is uh, nice. Uh, okay, pet alligator. Hmm. Big jumpers. Let's see. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. <laughs> okay, worth a try. <clears throat> what, Excuse what me, is I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. 
Not much of an in then, are we? But if you have only one, why do you have nine hooks for the keys? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only okay. have one, and it's full. Hmm. But what is he doing? It looks like he's tearing out pages of a book or something. Hmm. Can we? I could lose a finger doing that. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, can we pick up the rope? And that's securely fastened. All right. Then I think we'll have to start looking around for what we can start doing. So I'm pretty sure if we try to get out, we're going to just get uh, <laughs> we're just just getting get show, uh, <clears throat> shaken down uh, again. So let's get our first hint. Oh, okay. We need to get a voodoo doll of Lago, uh, and we'll probably need wood. Can we leave without getting accosted? Yes, we can. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Wood tick. There's the, a beach, so that that's probably where we came from. Still, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Okay, pick that up. <clears throat> yeah, if we're going to need to make a voodoo doll, we're going to need, well, wood first. <clears throat> Actually, I think most of them are straw or such. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, a bit straw and other things. Straw and cloth. Nice. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Okay. Well, straw, cloth, and of course, hair of the said person. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Fink and Bart's. <clears throat> and that's clicking out of the game. Let's see, anything to state on these guys, Rybrush? <coughs> nice. Um, <laughs> that's just going to be his stand reaction, isn't it? He's back. <laughs> Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. And yet he's still the top of the food chain here. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive, very nice, yeah. <clears throat> so Wonder how did Largo off the island. Well, we would. But he was very close to Lechuck. Oh. But Lechuck's gone forever. I heard they never found <coughs> his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. Let's see. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island, and there you'll meet a man named Captain Dread. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Okay. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. <laughs> yeah, busy what I stated earlier. I also gotta wonder, why doesn't just any random captain just point a cannon at him and blow him up? <clears throat> Good question! <clears throat> then again, LeChuck was a rather dread pirate. <clears throat> Dreaded pirate. So, yeah, just even the rumor of LeChuck still being alive would be enough to uh, she make anyone cautious about messing with people that were near them. Know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. 
Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly. The weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to rot. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> good lyrics, not good singing voice. Yeah, the, the, the tempo, I recognize it, but I can't name uh, where it's from. Well, I'll see you hey, later. Mm. That reminds me, mm. do we have any weenies left? Okay. I'm getting the feeling that I'll probably have to get these guys sausages for some... into trade for something. <laughs> for now, but we continue our mine. search. Let's see, swamp. <clears throat> Are they German or what? Uh, I'm not sure. <coughs> uh, okay, a coffin. Creepy, Inter but apparently seaworthy. International House of Mojo? What? I don't want to pull it out of the water. It might be covered with jellyfish and swampy parasites. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Now, then why are you standing in the same water that might have said parasites, Guybrush? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> it works, apparently. Let's see, we should still have the ability to swap between the old and the new graphics. Um, okay, not with F10. Let's see. Um, sure, if they kept it in this game. Uh, wait, wait. See. I, I F, think F, out. F1. Okay, and we even can trigger... <clears throat> I saw this in the options earlier. Uh, but yeah, we can trigger <clears throat> developer commentary at any point. So if we run out of stuff to say, we could always let them do the talking. Okay, it's even a lot keeping it old school. Okay, that is one point that with the first special edition I will give people who complain about the uh, the graphics a point, in that the uh, the uh, facial stuff, yeah, the the close-ups of people, they do look better with the pixel work, but good good pixel work can be very hard to beat. Display model. Yeah. Was it easy to be the bad pixel work? Yep. Let's see. Jars. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Okay. What? <laughs> Did you name the bottle? No. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. No, come on. Can we take sure? the string? Well, just take a little. Okay. It smells helium puns here. Brush three. Oh, hello. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I'm pretty sure she didn't tell the recipe. I think it was the cannibals who told that. Well, she did say you need, he, he needed the root and where she, he can find the root. Yeah. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. 
you will see. Well, the game is called LeChuck's Revenge. <laughs> Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, it's a good thing that we know that Guyvers is likely stupid enough to go get them instead. <laughs> what kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. <laughs> Usually, you just need hair. Her. <laughs> okay, she's not okay. quite animated this time. Do I have to say about her? When she looks at us, she looks fine. But when she looks a bit on the side, she looks a bit odd. Yeah, come on. L what? <laughs> Voodoo. Oh, like a dear. logo. <laughs> okay, down we go. And away we go. Okay, so we know now how to make one, but now we just need to get our hands on the ingredients. Hmm. I do wonder how the heck we are going to get something from a dead relative of his. Okay. Hmm. No, then. Is there anywhere else? Oh, no. Over there, I'm guessing, then. There's a peninsula yeah, there. If he has hmm. a relative bird on this island, it should be easy. Yeah. The rickets. No trespassing. Okay. Stan's cozy crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Oh, come on, that <laughs> scammer. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Hey! Is any of these going to be a Legrand tomb? Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. <laughs> okay. Really? It's casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Damn! <laughs> yeah, damn Stan. <laughs> as hard as anyone can. Oh, this, these are getting more intention. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we know. Are any of these also? Once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. <laughs> okay, come on, that was mean. Mean and sad. No man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Um. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood. Jim took every risk he could. A life of action. That was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> okay. So we're going to need to dig this up. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that's just going to be his reaction when he doesn't know what to say, or does he? There's one more tomb here. Let's take a peek at that. And there was a there was a shovel on the board. No trespassing. There was a shovel on the uh, board of the <clears throat> no, I wouldn't call it a town. Well, uh, yeah, Wood Tick had some had a shovel on the board, so yeah, let's see if we can grab that, and we might be able to get one of these things that we need. Oops, yep. I think I broke the sign. 
Let's mm. pray that uh, his father is still dead, dead. Really dead, you know, and not undead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, <clears throat> uh, Hex, how is the sound mis mixing at the moment? <clears throat> nothing too loud, nothing too soft. I hope. All right. Yeah, it, it's, it can be pretty annoying to deal with the sound balancing with stuff like this, since a lot of games work on different volumes. This is creepy feeling. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that's uh, a bad sign. Oh, gosh. It's, it's like when I play Ark on center map. It loves to be Thunderbird of the... What the heck? On my grandfather's grave. Something weird is going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if this game has any fail states or where if you can die at any point. Like in Monkey Island 1, there was only one point where that could happen, and was with the <laughs> the drowning bit. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's, it's still pretty freaking funny how, how 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 stupidly easy that one is solved. <laughs> mm. Kind of yeah. Do it sort of makes sense for if you, if you like that, that's probably the first thing you would try either to cut it or see if you can lift it. Mm. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Interesting trophies. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I think most people would go you know, with that, with first trying to grab all of the sharp stuff around. And apparently, if we waited long enough, uh, some NPCs would have you know, walked by and would. Uh, start talking about dropping a sword really close to the uh, totem but at the last second after a debate of like five minutes it's not after, after all oh oh and I oh. Kept, Captain Dread locks <laughs> come on are you Captain Dread? yeah man I'm Captain Dread what can I do for you? Navy Dreads thanks man I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. You know, you could just leave and le leave his dumb ass stuck on land. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator oh. was so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, that would have been the navigator's head that we'd been using, I think. Wait, didn't that have both eyes? Gee, you might find part of your necklace. Friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing we can do here. I just remember, actually, I actually long ago draw a captain with dreadlocks. Though, he was a bit more muscular compared to dread here. <laughs> and he had dreadlock beard. <laughs> it also works. Uh, laughing sets off the coughing again. Let's see. <clears throat> let's Wait, bring, does... let's... Yeah? Does that mean I can torment you with yokes? Yep. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, turn about is fair play. <laughs> hey, you will help me. All right. Over to the voodoo lady. I'm not sure if she was given a name. I think she had no oh. name. Do I... Yeah, she, she has introduced herself, but what the heck was her name again? Thank you. Um, I'm going to try and show every screen in its uh, old version as well. Just to see what the difference, because, well, we didn't do anything of that with the first game. Uh, you get eaten. Game over. <laughs> okay, this doesn't have the voice acting, though. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Or... I don't think it has. Let's see. <laughs> About that voodoo doll. Okay. Have you brought me the ingredients? I'm, I'm not sure if they. I think they only started with uh, voice acting in the third Monkey Island game. I have the bone of his grandfather. <laughs> Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Nope. Could you tell me what they were again? Just like the list says, something from his body. Something from his clothes, some of his bodily fluids. That's all. Now go. Oh. oh. So we need to steal some of his clothes, a bit of his hair probably, and uh, either his blood or. Um, hmm? He spat in the uh, <clears throat> the bar. He spat against the wall. Uh, oh, yeah, we could goodness. probably use that. Okay, yeah. I was worried we were about to get his piss for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have given this game a different rating if that was involved. True. True, actually. Let's see. Hmm. Wait. Is there one place here that we haven't gone yet? And advertisements. Let's take a look at it. Reads Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Can we? Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. I really hope bartenders in the post never spat in the glass to clean it. Mm. No thanks. Too many bad mm. memories of piano lessons. No promises. Largo's been here. Uh. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Good thing. Will I do I? Uh, let's see. Anything new to chat about with you? Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Grog. I recognize that voice. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what. I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who is this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Okay, and what's this about a scar? Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation <laughs> in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Okay, good one. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Okay, here's a fun fact from what I heard from other bartenders that have worked in bars that they prefer drink people drinking in moderation. Yeah, because uh, a violent drunk is more likely to just smash something up, and it would cost a lot more to repair. Yep, and there's also the... Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um sister once had. It's too small. 
Also, drowsy yellow can also just be annoying to listen to, noisy, and if you're lucky, you may have one that you need to lift out. Which itself can be a problem. Okay, pile of paper. Dang. I'm such a dope. Can we give him back his monocle? Can't I do anything right? Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Okay, now we got some of his paper. Let's see. Oh, come on, you didn't even grab a map or anything. Just a blank thing. <laughs> uh, dumbass guy brush. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing when we saw Logo earlier that he was down here. Because there was the door that we could check, but we didn't. Let's see. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay, so we need to find something to distract him with. Maybe frog. Hmm. What is our next step then? What the heck? Uh, is this me or does the the free part of something look dead? <laughs> yeah, they look a bit <laughs> down at the very least. There's that bucket that we need something for, and I'm guessing we can use the paper to uh, gather up this. Uh, oh, yuck. Yeah. Yeah, wait, remember, they said something about a chef in here. Yeah, but we can't get in there. Oh. Hmm. And we're going to need something for identification or something. Uh, 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 no, something just struck me. Hmm? Uh, is, is there going to give us two? I remember people saying they love Old Lion's Ark due to the reminded them of this game. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, uh, I can say this. It might be a popular thing, but I kind of liked New <laughs> Lion's Ark. Why I did like the old one. Problem is, I got lost in the old one so way many much time, it just annoyed me the heck out of it. Yeah, they, they both had their... Yeah, they both have their own thing. It, it is kind of sad to not be able to see an old version of it. Or yeah. maybe they'll... May, maybe they've added a, a thing where you, you can, can tour it, it or something. You can see it in some living in some uh, old story sectors. And some of the old positive alloys of are still there around, luckily enough. Okay. So, uh, yeah, only like at the one district. Can I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay. Not sure what to do with this. Um, yeah, this is at least one thing we can do on our own now. <laughs> Even if it one? might not lead anywhere. I don't get it. One piece of eight. Like... It sounds like a weird currency. He wanted me to polish it for him. Okay, this is not going to be awkward at all. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. <laughs> okay, so we're basically being a uh, a boot shine with extra steps. Now, what's with this bucket? It's just a bucket. Uh. I'm not holding it. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. <laughs> okay. Yep. Concept art unlocked. Okay. Uh, what do we do with that box? Let's give this another try. Oh, I very much doubt that we the rat is going to go in without any bait. Hmm. Yeah. He loves cheese. I think it was the same rat from the first game. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they had a rat, yeah. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten that. Let's see. Yeah, and do you remember what that rat did? Uh, it's scared of an elephant. Correct. 
Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139, Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, oh, I just remembered. Oh, we never got to see the elephant. <laughs> because there probably wasn't any. Oh, or, well, <laughs> it was long gone, at least. Let's see. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I Barely. can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Okay. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Actually, uh, no, that won't work. I was thinking maybe we could just give him the paper and bullshit around him if his eyesight is as bad as his hearing, but no, we've got it's kind of covered in spit. Yeah, mm. it, he's, he's near deaf, not blind. I Unless he's also near blind. Hmm, we got of the bar of fluids from there. We've got. <coughs> of the dead out of the uh, graveyard. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Get your hands away from there. It's not for sale. Okay. It's voice. I also recognize it. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Hey. Okay. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Hmm. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Okay, I get the feeling that the woodsmith might kill us if we try and touch any his stuff. It says Woody. That's me. Oh. <laughs> okay, Woody the woodsmith. Hmm. Okay, it's not going to immediately. It's not going to point us directly at what we need to do. Or because maybe maybe because this is a more of a yeah open thing. Because there's four things it could point you to, so it's not pointing to any in, one in specific. Yeah, any one's yeah, any one of them specifically. Let's see. What could he use this wood polish with? Could he put the bucket over the gator? Now is sleep. Hmm. I have better things to do than beat up baby reptiles. Alien! I was more thinking like poke it. <laughs> have you it's... never heard don't poke a sleeping gator? <laughs> uh, sleeping dogs no, but sleeping well, gators no. That. Say with bears. Don't poke sleeping bears. I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have okay, one. Okay, it's full. No, at all, none other. No, no other dialogue at all with him. Hmm. Okay, so we need a claim ticket. We need ID, and that's probably the two things that'll lead us to the uh, other two items. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Okay, that might have... Uh, that might give us access to the kitchen here. That m should help us progress to somewhere. I'm, I'm going to try and avoid using the hint system as a complete crutch. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning, but if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Okay, so... I'm guessing we can sabotage the new cook. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Alright. But how can we do that if we can't enter the kitchen? Is there an opening up here, maybe? Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. 
Oh, window. <laughs> oh. Uh, leave it up to Guybrush to fail that hard. I don't think that's how you're supposed to peel potatoes. It's a cold potato and leek soup. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see that again. I might be able to try it. Never mind. <laughs> Vicky noise. Oh, knife gets. Hmm. Speaking of potatoes, I personally prefer them unpeeled. Uh, at least when uh, fried and such. Savage. He looks really into his cooking. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Uh, at least he's being hygienic with his gloves. He's more hygienic than the other guy, though he's definitely peeling them cocktail. unsafely. I hate fruit cocktail. Okay. Now, how can we ruin the soup then? The fire's out. Oh, you can overboil it or I'm something? No I'm no cook. I bet it weighs half a ton. And we can get out this way as well? Without... Okay. <laughs> okay, I was about to say without failing, but then he failed. Of course. Actually... Oh, a lot smoother this time. What if we put the polish in there? I don't want to polish that. Oh, come on. Can you don't a polish the stew. Oh, you pronounced Wait, what? it. I hate bitchy swaz. Okay. <laughs> Wiki swaz. Wiki swaz? All right. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. Yeah, we're not going to get any more specific hints with this. Hmm. Then... Hmm. I have no Hi, idea Wally. how to continue, then. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work, too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Okay. I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. Okie dokie. There is that cabinet there, but we can't use it. Let's see. Nice map. I like it too. I think that is a map of this island. I'm not sure what that one is. It's not Melee and it's not Monkey Island, I think. Actually, wait, wait, Monkey wait. Monkey Island. That's Monkey Island. Yep, it, yep, it is Ma Monkey Island. <laughs> okay, just seeing it as a whole just threw me off for a bit. Okay, is there really nowhere else to go? All right, I, I, I will pick you up so you're not falling off anymore. There we go. Um, hmm. Yeah, how can we continue with this now? We need a claim ticket. We need identification for the bar, but I'm not sure where we can get anything else. We could bring in the second ingredient, but I don't think that'll do anything. Yeah, uh, still on the slight chance, let's go do it. And I did say I was going to show off the old graphics, so yeah, let's let's use that for a bit. That's a, a lot, it looks a lot better than from uh, Monkey Island 1. And seeing from here, uh, actually... Okay, we can't get that wing, or feather, whatever it is. 
All right. The big feather. Hmm. It, it, I think it's more a complete wing or something. Too hmm. stiff. Too stiff. Oh, this is just part of a wing. Hmm. I don't think this will do anything, but we might be able to grab something from the shelves or something. Let's see. It appears to be bolted to the table. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. No, that stuff's way too technical for me. Yeah, now we just get to trying to pick up everything we can. Any more ingredients? I have some of this spit. Excellent. Get rid of that. You keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Okay, maybe we can use the paper as a claim ticket. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, if if we can't, then uh, I'll just do a I'll just do a quick look uh, at uh, what we might have to do since the hint system uh, isn't pointing us specifically where we need to go. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything we've overlooked that we can interact with? Hmm. Yeah, it looks, it looks really g yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, not and... bad. Yeah, uh, you've gained a bit of weight <laughs> in the new edition. And uh, a few decades, I believe, as well. Is that a smoke pipe in his ear? It uh, looks about. <laughs> oh, God. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Let's see. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate covered ants? <laughs> I've got a laundry type question. Shoo. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. Uh, it's too soggy. Okay, we can't use that then. Um, you lot have any anything to say? Hey. Mm. Hey guys. Nope, they're out. Hmm. Okay, just going to do a quick search then. Let's see. Uh, come on. Not spend. Monkey Island 2. Uh, voodoo. Not that. There we go. No. Let's see. Yeah, apparently the grave robbery was supposed to be, or, or supposed to be the last part or something. Uh, let's see. Can I throw off with your cookies. Uh. At the very least, people are less uh, frequent with trying to screw you over by uh, having everything auto-accepted. Let's see. Wally to cartographer, grab a piece of paper. Uh, bartender, swamp, wood tick, uh, stick. Okay. Mm -hmm. No what? Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently I missed something. 
hired help. Yeah, use the paper. Gotta be on the counter. Use the knife on the rope. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll set the alligator free and we'll probably send him running for a bit. Um, then we can sneak into L Largo's room. Okay, I'll keep that on the side here, but I won't act. I won't <coughs> look to it too much. Okay. Better go catch him before he catches somebody else. <laughs> Peg biter. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Ew. Uh. Oh. oh hello. You into my room. I uh, thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. <laughs> uh, well, we got <laughs> we got something of his hair, I presume. Um, yeah, still leaves us without anything for the clothes, though. Uh, <laughs> Uh, actually, do we still have it? Yes, we do. Okay. Just in case. Uh, <laughs> okay, apparently we need to go get a bucket of mud. <coughs> bucket of mud? Yep, and well, we know where the best mud is. In swamps. Ooh, so are I you making mud cake? To... <laughs> uh, not that kind. Um, let's see. Um... Wow, a whole bucket of mud, and it's mine. All mine. All right. Was... He sounded really eager about it. No. Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> We need the claim ticket, which Largo has. So we kind of need to deal with him for a moment. And while well, mud is slippery and all, so if we <laughs> muck up his place. I don't think that'll work. Or maybe the stairs. Mm. Can we use the bell? I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Okay, he's not coming running. Oh wait, we we can still go in there. Then door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Okay. I think I hear Largo coming. I must have a sixth sense for something. What the hell? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. <laughs> okay, at least now we can search through his stuff. Already open. It's mm. empty. Nothing in there. A lot of leftovers. They look pretty old. Yeah, pretty much. Right? <laughs> they should not be left messy. out. <laughs> okay, is there anywhere in here? I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Let's see. Is there a claim ticket here somewhere? Hmm. Also. Okay, I, I've seen this before, I, I think. Hmm. I have to say, 
reusing a ship into a house is kind of clever. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the condition of the broken ship, of course. Largo could be back any minute. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Just a quick glance to the guide says to go to the beach. Yeah. That's another a bit of an annoyance with all the point and clicks like this. Is sometimes you have to uh, go to places that don't really make too much sense for yeah, new stuff to be triggered. Let's see. Slugger's probably on the warpath now. <laughs> the first person to cross him is probably going to be the one uh, yeah, getting the full brunt of it. Okay, he's not here though. Hmm. Unless they need to talk to them about it. Uh, let's see if they have anything new. I, I don't want to use this thing. It's... Okay, still missing one ingredient. Uh, let's still talk to them, see if they have anything new. He's back! How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates <laughs> landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land. But it just didn't feel right. I think that's just called uh, banditry. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's uh, that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. Oh. Pirate skybrush, not Girl Scouts. <laughs> Well, I'll okay. See salty dogs later. Let's not suffer through another song. Get the signboard. Hmm. Yeah, we looked at that earlier. That that, that place is supposed to be a sausage not stand or something. The other... Which other? Steaming weenies. Yep. <laughs> It sounds like a horrible name. Okay, where are you pointing us, game? <coughs> Look for. Wait. I'm pretty sure we looked everything over, unless there's something that's small that we missed. Which is another complaint people often have with point and clicks is that some things are just. Like a few pixels wide. Long tree. Nice. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. I'm not seeing something of laundry. I only like all of the pillows and stuff. Probably stole them from the entire village. Messy, messy, messy. I'm sure why he just allows the leftovers to stay there. Hold on, am I missing something? Go to laundry and talk to. M why that now? We we didn't find anything in there. We've got the to pay, but we all then we pranked him. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we might have a chance to steal his uh, ticket. Maybe. You're making me mad, Marty. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Look, <laughs> I want it free, and I want it tonight. Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three <laughs> years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Um. Uh, 
Okay, let's give this a shot. Uh, I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, just the hard of hearing I I humor is just you, stupid, but, but I don't. It does have its it does have its moments every now and then. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one of those. It has to show, but it can easily be overused. <coughs> hmm. It's, it's overused. It's yeah. It basically means just play insulting. Okay, um... Okay... The logger's room shut the door. Okay. I suspect we're probably gonna need to use a window to escape. Uh, doubt it. Let's see. Closed door. Oh, there. Okay, well that's that solved. And then we have... Hmm, we don't have anything... Oh, we, we have the wig. Good. <laughs> then we have all four ingredients, and then hope we can let this guy go for a bit. All Here. right. Okay. Uh, claim ticket, Marty. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. It's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Yeah. <laughs> Parrot? Ah, here it comes. Uh, wait, what? Uh, is. Um, I think you forgot the wrong thing, dude. Not my size. Uh, I you sure? <laughs> Apparently he's sure. I, I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. I, I'm both surprised and not surprised. For the very old uh, adventure game point and click games, they could really sometimes. Uh, well, yeah. Curve They're ball. going to go some. Uh, what? To curveball you? Yep, and we get there to go to places that are a bit more restricted nowadays. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll have to see if she takes it, but I get the feeling that <laughs> we're going to screw up this voodoo doll. Uh. Either in a good way or in a horrible way. <laughs> uh, knowing our luck, uh, or rather Guybrush's uh, luck, <laughs> it's going to go terribly, terribly wrong. Will she even accept that as his? Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have it is hers. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not even questioning. No. I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. Okay. <laughs> uh, this ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Uh, Thanks, voodoo lady. One more thing. 
some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. Uh-oh. Okay, she gave us some pins to go along with it. <laughs> well, you're right. Something did get go wrong, but... Only in quality. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually take a look at that thing. Oh, oh we can't use our... We can't, <clears throat> can't open our inventory here. Let's see. It's little, mean-looking, and ugly. Just like Largo. <laughs> I should have expected that line. Sharp. Okay. And where the hell... Is the little jackass. <clears throat> Is he still somewhere around here? <clears throat> he hasn't bothered the woodsmith yet. And he isn't going to steal him. <clears throat> Do we have to go back to his room? Or the room? Hello. He hasn't bothered him either. I like how his wall is just the deck. Hello. Even if uh, he probably have some uh, rain issues. Look at the map on the, uh, by the bed. Yeah, that one there. Do you recognize it? Is that supposed to be melee? I think or... it is. Hmm. I'm not sure. If it is, then it's turned. No, no, it's yes. correct. It even has the little island thing, correct place. Do you want you uh, glide, uh, rope gliding on? <laughs> uh, that was more to the more to the east, I believe. Uh, <laughs> no, it was more to the west. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is melee. It would make sense for them to have all three maps there from the game. Let's see, if he, is he here? Also, my headset is starting to complain at me to charge it. Oh. So, yeah, I'll just I have to back. grab the cable. It should still be able to run for 50 minutes. Uh, still, where is that? Yeah, but there's none of the USB plugs here are close enough to really use with only the charging cable. So I'm looking around for one of my power banks. Uh, where are those things? Power banks. Yeah. I could probably stick, if I had a more, if I had another extension cable of the USB type, I could probably use that instead to uh, keep it connected at longer range, but I don't, so... Where is the damn thing? Hmm. Oh, hold on. No, not there either. Okay. Here's an old one. Does this one still has a charge? A little bit. Okay. Uh, this is like... I'm going to probably need to redo the sound in a bit because for some reason when this thing starts to get a charge apparently not this time and whenever i connect this thing to the charger it typically turns off and then i have to reconnect it and i have to re uh <coughs> pardon and i have to yeah reselect the audio drivers and such but apparently not this time either that or this thing is dry even though it's showing that it has some charge uh-oh now then. Uh, just in case he kicks our freaking ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chuck has seen better days. It looks more grim. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Take that, you 
you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. Why, I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Ooh. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune um. teller said she did it, LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. And um, what? Wriggling. Let me see that. Uh, dumbass. It is uh, alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Guybrush. <laughs> oh, love of Odin! And what did you even... I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to Ooh. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Hey, that explains why he looked more grim. There is no place to hide, but there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw <laughs> your okay. need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, yeah, come yes. on. <laughs> and apparently this bank has no charge. Hmm. Okay, so we might have to cut this a bit short because, uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it won't really work to stream if I can't hear a thing. And yeah, no. if I put if I play it over my speakers, it would just echo everywhere. <clears throat> All right, but at least we can get off this stinking island. So uh, okay, we? let's go find our dread pirate with the dreadlocks, and uh, I'm out of dread puns. <laughs> Let's see if our life I'm won't hang on by a thread. Or else uh, Guybrush pun. will be left dead. I'm not a dreadful pun. <laughs> okay, Cappy. It's me again. Make it snappy. So I see. What can I do for you this time, man? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Okay, so we need to get that. I gotta run. Before we can actually go. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Hmm. Where would that be? Hmm. Seriously, I know that that can still be in my uh <clears throat> in my coat. Because I'm pretty sure I would notice its weight, because it's a pretty th chunky thing. I don't think we'll have any reasons to fit this, uh, that to visit the cemetery again. 
So, could that thing be somewhere around here? And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that because we polished the uh, pirate's uh, <laughs> peg leg, that they allowed us to take the bucket. Otherwise, that would have been rather useless. Mm. Yeah. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. He drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's <laughs> underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, nothing new here. You say you use a voodoo doll. Simple enough. Uh, everyone's going to attribute it to someone else, isn't it? Aren't they? And I'm guessing we won't be getting any grog then. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put them in all the drinks. <laughs> Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Nice place you have here. Well, hmm. see ya. Okay, so either they're going to claim it for themselves or just say someone else did it. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Get some money. Hmm. We need to get the locket. Yeah. His, <clears throat> his jewelry first. Let's see, you guys going to wake up again? Yo. Nope. Marty, you got anything? I made Largo leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? <laughs> Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay. Hey, Contrever? So yeah, sabotage the meal, but how then? Uh, actually, we still have that there. So wait, hmm. he said he uh, wait. put laxative in uh, his drink, so that might have laxative in it. it might be. Oh. That's the third complaint by the headset. So let's try this. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll call it before things run out. It's too soggy. Hmm. I don't want to polish that. Okay. Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Raph Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. Oh, hello. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Raph was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaving at the time. Okay, uh, no glass in the window. The reason he reacted to Marley is that's that's being Elaine's uh, last name, Elaine Marley. Yeah, Governor Marley and that. Hmm. Uh, so her uh, father yeah. might have been a pirate? Hmm. Good chance. Either way, though, uh, yeah, 15 minutes short, but uh, yeah, better than running out of power. Yes, I know that I had the stupid thing here somewhere, but yeah, it, I just can't find it without having to turn some stuff over, I'm guessing. That uh, would probably cause a bit of noise. And well, it would look really freaking weird with the avatar just zipping around all over the place because it can't deal with me turning more <laughs> than 45 degrees or so. <clears throat> okay. Well then, uh, yeah, a bit early. Um, 
yeah tomorrow we'll have something sunday of course as usual uh, i'll still have to test the games for it and i can't say too much if the expressions turned off on uh, turned on on the avatar has had much of an effect uh, i have noticed the angry look a few times when i'm not angry so i might look into disabling that one um but yeah also it it kind of is biting in my into it's kind of biting me in the ass now that the eye is on that the eye patch on my model is on the eye that is faces towards the camera so the right eye is constantly half shut about <laughs> so yeah that might be another reason to swap the place of the uh, eye patch but yeah i'll just look into that on my own uh kind of annoyed that there isn't any music in this so let's just let's just leave it at this and uh yeah i'm liking i'm liking the game so far <coughs> uh, any thoughts you have i like it so as well so far as well it's i really look forward to what else we bring us yeah the, the, the pixel art in the original has made a big leap so it, it can be presumed presumed not uh, more certain but a good chance of that the rest of the game is also uh, an improvement over the original and uh, yeah as usual Guybrush managed to make things worse for himself and everyone around him <laughs> All right. well then uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or, or later and yeah, thank you especially Drakir, as always. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. <laughs> and thank you for watching, uh, X. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, yeah, you're free to, of course, visit uh, anytime. Uh, we could also get you into the voice chat if you'd like. But for now, uh, yeah, some no, not something Sunday. Showcase Sunday is the name now. Uh, tomorrow. And then Tuesday and Thursday we'll be continuing with the death of the outsider with Dishonored. Yay! <laughs> All right. But uh, until then, as usual, uh, have a uh, shut up headsets. It's really starting to complain now about getting charged. Until then, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>